vida yo estaba ahogada en soledad Hey guys! So I thought that I would do a makeup tutorial for an event because Gano University is today. I'm so excited and I thought I would show you guys a makeup look that you could you could show off tonight. Um, so this is the look. It's, it's a smoky eye but it's not too drastic as all black that would be so overpowering. I think this would look beautiful on any skin tone, any complexion. Um, any eye color could rock this look so I hope you guys like it it's gonna be a um, much longer video because it's a makeup tutorial and I'm not an expert at making makeup tutorials but I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you like it and this uh, look was inspired by Jaclyn Hill she's a guru here on YouTube she's amazing I have learned so much from her so when you get a chance please go visit her channel Jaclyn Hill one she is awesome I, I love her I think I have a girl crush. <laughs> Alright guys, one tip that I would recommend for you to do tonight um, at a cocktail party, you don't want to, you're going to be taking lots of pictures, you don't want to be oily, so I recommend that you carry some blotting sheets with you. These are going to save your life when it comes to pictures. Just sneak one in, turn around really quick and blot your makeup. It's going to take away all the excess makeup, excess makeup, excess oil, and you're going to be left awesome for pictures, and it's very small, compact, and then that way you don't have to be piling on makeup on top of makeup, and you're going to look cakey, so invest in some of these guys, they're going to be, they're going to be your best friend, so I'll see you all tonight. So the first thing that we're going to do is moisturize our skin. I'm using St. Ives Timeless Skin with Collagen. It's always good to moisturize before you do any kind of makeup. And you just want to dab some on your face. Everywhere, everywhere. You want your skin nice and soft. And then just use your fingers and blend it in nicely. So your skin can feel soft and supple and be ready for your makeup and hey why not give yourself a little massage while you're at while you're at it right so pamper yourself for a bit it's always good to do that then we're gonna take some Vaseline for our lips so that they could be moisturized while we're doing our makeup and they can just be soft and ready for lipstick application later and I'm sending you guys all a big kiss. Now we're gonna prime our eyes for our makeup and I'm using um, eye primer from Mary Kay, the signature collection. And we are just going to dab that on our lid, both our lids, of course. I'm using the 24 hour color tattoo and that is in the color of Oh, bad to the bronze. And we just want to add that to our lids. That's also going to work as a primer actually and it's going to help our eyeshadow stick a lot more better. Then I'm going to take this color. I don't know what the color is because it's from the Sephora holiday collection box that my awesome brother-in-law recommended and I went and got it and yeah. It's awesome, I love it. And this color is just gonna go into your crease and you just wanna take your time blending this in because this look requires a lot of blending and it's gonna take a while, but it's so worth it. It's gonna just make your eyes look really, really well blended. And after that, we're gonna take this beautiful brick. It's kind of like a gold, red, brown color. Don't know if that makes any sense. It's from a palette that I've had for a really, really, really long time. It's from uh, Milani and it's the number two Sedona Sunset Quad. And I really love it. I think this is the, the one that I use on a daily basis because it's got really, really simple colors and 
the colors have a little bit of shimmer. You want to apply that to the center of your lid and then just kind of move it upwards. Then you're going to take kind of like a light brown color and you're just going to put that on a fluffy brush and you're just going to blend away. Blend, blend, blend. I'm not showing you the whole process because this video would be ridiculously long, but yeah, blend away. And then we're going to take this white uh, pearly color from the same quad from Milani and we're just going to highlight our brow bone. And of course, we're going to do that to both our brow bones. And then again, more blending. Then we're going to take our L'Oreal eyeliner and we're just going to tight line our eyes. And we want to not worry about it being perfect because we're going to uh, smudge it out in a sec. We're going to do both sides. And this coal is really good. I really, really like it. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect because like we're doing here, we're just going to take a smudger and we're going to smudge that. Then we're going to take a black shadow. And it's also from the Sephora collection. And we are going to put that black eyeshadow over our eyeliner. And we're also just going to blend that out so it has that smoky, smoky feel. And we are going to create an uh, outer V also with this. You want to make sure that it covers all of your eyeliner. And then just start making that outer V and smoking it out, moving it upwards into the crease. And then just blending that as, as well as you possibly can. Again with our fluffy brush. Our fluffy blending brush is our best friend here. So we're just going to blend, 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 blend away. It's a lot of blending guys, but it's, it's worth it. So then just fix any imperfections with that beautiful brick red brown color and again I'm using uh, Milani it's not that expensive then we go back in with Sephora and this is like a orangey red color that we want to put on top of that that brown color so we can kind of go from the from the brown to a lighter color it makes it like a seam seeming seeming less <laughs> way then we're gonna clean up with one of our makeup removing towelettes we're gonna remove any excess that fell down and then using this benefit uh, uh, look your best book there's a it's perfect flawless foundation kit and we're gonna go ahead and use this primer it's really really soft oh, I love how this feels on my skin it feels so good then we're gonna go in with the foundation and this is in the color deep I really like this foundation guys I have a really hard time finding a foundation because I change my skin is it, it's weird it changes color very very easily during the summer if I'm out in the Sun I get tan if I'm not in the Sun for a couple days I get lighter and it's crazy but this one seems to just really really work for me also you're going to want to conceal any imperfections that you might have like a blemish or the redness under your nose um, you want to put some on your chin but basically cover up any anything that you need to cover up then we're going to take the sephora brightening highlighting concealer pen and this is what we're going to go ahead and use for our under eye area and we're just going to go ahead and take this and create that kind of diamond V under our eyes where we want to we want the light to shift to catch and we don't want those blue black circles you can do this with your fingers or with a brush but just make sure you blend it all very very well and then we're going to take our translucent powder and we are going to set that in. Set in that concealer with the translucent powder. Make it as matte as we possibly can. And you can also use your fingers. I like to use my fingers just to smooth it out. Um, fingers for makeup are just my friends. I, I use brushes but 
I like using my fingers too. Then what we are going to do is we are going to powder the rest of our face. And we're going to be using this Revlon, Revlon Nearly Naked that you can get at any drugstore. I got mine at Target, I believe. And then just go ahead and powder. Next is our eyebrows. We are going to fill those in, brush them out, show them who's boss. Then I'm using uh, also, this pencil is also from Milani. It is, I don't know the color because it faded, <laughs> but it's a really, really great brush. Um, and the color, I think it's deep brown. Then I'm going to use Anastasia's uh, brow gel. Then is bronzer. I love bronzer in the summer because you just want to look like you've been in the sun and you've got this nice glow. This bronzer is by Glow Minerals and it's in the color Sunkiss. And it's a really, it's not matte completely, but it does have a little bit of shimmer, which is, is I think it's the perfect amount. I don't like it too shimmery or too matte so for me this this bronzer works really well and you just want to put that in your temples um, and your jawline of course you want to just contour and just make your face look as thin as possible and it just gives you a healthy look I think it just helps to make you look like you've gotten some sun so that's always a good thing and maybe just put some on our nose to help contour our nose as well and there we go you're ready for pictures I was recording but it didn't record that well but basically what I did is I put these lashes on I love these lashes from Sonia Kuzak you get them at Target they're like five bucks I absolutely love them I love 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 them and then we went ahead and put the color breezy blush by Mac um, this is also a really good summer blush because it's got a little bit of shimmer, but not too much shimmer, I'm sorry. On lips, I'm wearing Sephora. I don't know what color it is because I can't see it. It faded. It's pretty old, but I love it. And then I'm wearing some gloss on top, and that should be it. Then I'm going to take from this kit of Benefit, I'm going to take the High Beam Highlighter. And we're just going to dab a little bit on our cheeks and on our Cupid's bow and a little bit on our nose just to catch a little bit of light uh, it looks beautiful in person guys I really 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 recommend that you guys go out and get yourself this I think they sell it separately I'm sure they sell it separately I don't know why I love to buy these little booklets because first you want to sample it's always good to sample see how it works for you but that's basically it and you guys will look beautiful this looks great on everybody now I just gotta go do your hair so you're ready to go. Thanks for watching guys.